Welcome back, this is Gaming with Rob. We're going to take a look at the new Tarantula in the uh, game Macabellum. I covered this uh, probably about four or five days ago. I'll link that video in the script description below uh, for a little bit of a closer look. But I'm going to just come into the testing ground and try these bad boys out. Let's just find them. If we put three of these down, it's the first time I'm testing them. Um, they're supposed to be good against the crawler, or not necessarily crawler actually, but the chaff. Um, we'll just put a, like a massive amount of crawlers down um, and see how we get on with them. Um, okay, let's just start. Let's just go ahead and get on with it and see how they get on. Um, now, they don't have the... Uh, little spiders initially they were an upgrade which I'll probably do in the next round but let's just see how they get off on round one hmm. okay the crawlers doing what they should do um, and effectively overrun uh, the other mechs by virtue of numbers Looks like even though the uh, tarantulas are supposed to be good against the chaff, of course, numbers very often uh, win at the end of the day. It looks like it's just going to about take this, just about in the end. Okay, that's interesting. I'm going to make it a little bit more challenging. I'm going to add some more. I basically want to see at what point these tarantulas uh, fail. So I'm going to add another three units. I want to see them fail effectively and then start with some upgrades. I mean, that's a lot of chaff right there. Mainly directed in the center, as you can see. The right-hand side tarantula should take those units out with ease. And I guess they're going to help the comrades... That middle unit's getting taken down very, very easily. The left-hand side's being done. This might be a little bit more of a challenge now for the last tarantula. Let's see how they get on with this one. Yeah, okay, so that's, that's the point. That's the point. So the chaff have taken them down eventually. I didn't count how many um, crawlers there were. Let me go ahead and switch sides. Now... These spider mines are meant to be a deal breaker in terms of taking the chaff out, but I wonder whether when they launch these, do they stop firing? And if they do stop firing when they launch them, is it actually going to be an advantage or a disadvantage? Let's see if we get that far. So the spider mines obviously did some damage there, so they stopped firing. Okay. Okay. That is a bad thing. That's really bad. They're all... They're, they're done. They're done. They've all been taken out. Okay. That is really what I wanted to see. Um, and that is a deal breaker. That is a real deal breaker. Because in the videos that I've looked at, they said, pop your tarantulas at the front. Um, I mean, I, I guess they can get upgrades in terms of armor. But I'd be placing them at the back. Um, so they can launch the spider mines and then some other units could uh, start taking the other other mechs out and they'll probably get a second chance to launch those spider mines then they can actually do some damage um, okay let's switch sides let's hit the range enhancement that would probably be the one that I would start with if I was upgrading these let's see how they get on with the range Theoretically, they can attack sooner because uh, of the of the better range. And let's see what sort of effect this has. But you watch now. When these spider mines launch, they actually stop firing. See, they stop firing. Hmm. That is definitely something to think about within your tactics. And that range is a much better upgrade, as you can see. Um, not only have they won, but all three tranchers have survived. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and fully upgrade these. 
or should I not? I'm never one of the. S I I never like the speed one. Um, I just oh yeah, that's did I upgrade? Yeah, I'm never first on the speed one um, because I sometimes like to hang back in my own base rather than speed into the enemy's base, mainly because of the missiles. So I tend to hold back as much as I can. Um, but I better go back and have a look at that because I don't know whether it's movement speed or whether it's fire speed in terms of how quick they fire. I will go back and have a look at that. Of course they've taken these down. We know they're going to because we've added no more chaff when we've upgraded the tarantulas. But let me just quickly have a look at that. Um, so what's it? Increases the unit's movement speed by 4 and reduces attack intervals by 0. 0.2 seconds. So it, it, it does reduce the attack speed. Um, which, yeah, I guess that is a game changer. We'll go ahead and add the piercing bullets. We will um, also add... Let's add some Mustangs in. Okay, crazy times. Lots of Mustangs. Let's see how we get on with this one. Because that has a lot of things to add. A lot of Mustangs. Let's see how they get on. Now, these are meant to be ground units, but in the trailers I did see anti-air. Um, I don't know if that's just purely an upgrade where they get the anti-air, but we'll, we'll have a look at it. Perhaps we'll put some wasps in them in a few moments' time. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add another tarantula, actually. Let's go ahead and add another... Oh, switch sides... Let's go ahead and add another tarantula. Where are you, my beauties? There we go. Let's start this. And see how we get on with this one. Are you a fan of Machabellum, which is your favourite unit? Please uh, drop me that in the comment section below. It's always nice to hear from the community. Uh, Machabellum is a game that I really do adore. It is one of my favourite games at the moment. Uh, I, and the online gaming is superb as well. So those Mustangs are really taking to town, these Tarantulas. They really are. Um, but they've, uh, they've won that one just about. I do want to add some Wasps. Just to see. Because I haven't seen any anti-air... Let's put the wasps over here somewhere at the back and just see how they got on with those. Because there is meant to be some anti-air, but I haven't seen anything in the upgrades. Maybe it's only on promotion you get the anti-air. We'll see what happens specifically with these wasps now. I mean, that unit is a level 2. Is there any anti-air? What's going on here? Nothing at the moment. So maybe it's something that needs to be upgraded. We'll have a look at that now. Okay, there's definitely no anti-air there, is there? No, no anti-air. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Let's have a quick look, see if we can do anything about that. If we switch sides. Is there anything we can do? What's this? Player per... Ooh, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, I don't like that. How do I get out of that? Okay, I didn't like that. Um, is there a way? Let's have a look. Um, no, I can't see a way of doing that. So perhaps that is something we'll have to have a look at. 
um, on another video because there's definitely a way of doing anti-air maybe it's an upgrade uh, we'll have a look at that quickly because of course we know we're going to lose this one now because there's no anti-air not unless this level 3 tarantula has got something up its sleeve No, nothing at all. Okay. Let me... I don't normally do this, but I'm going to come out... Let's come out of it. You get the general gist of what we're going to do. So, surrender. Let's have a quick look if we exit to the lobby. Unit modification. Where are they? Um... Can't find them. Where are they? I know you're all shouting at the screen. There it is over there. The tarantula. There we go. Okay. So we've got the various skins. Anti-air. Ammunition. Yeah, we want to upgrade that. I don't know actually how we get that. Um... Do we get rid of that and put that in? We do. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go back. Um, let's go back to... Oh, I forgot how to do it now. Testing grounds. Let's just have some tarantulas and some wasps. Saying that, I guess, in order to do that, we're going to have to start with an upgrade. But I don't know how good. That's anti air. Let's switch sides. Let's put a couple of wasps down. Let's put three. Again, I have no idea how good this anti air is on the tarantula. But let's see. Let's see. I know the spider mines are going to be no good. Oh, we haven't got any spider mines, oh, we? we didn't upgrade those. Let's see how it gets on now. Anti-air. How good is this anti-air? Ooh. Good, but not going to be good enough, is it? It's making decent damage over the mind. Wow. I don't think it shouldn't. Just about. Do you know what? That is that is a decent anti-air. Let's go ahead. Should we just purely upgrade? Um. Let's get rid of that. Let's. Let's just promote it without doing any more upgrades and see how we get on with the same number. So we've got a level 2 tarantula now. And how much difference does that make with three packs of wasps? Let's check this out. The anti air is fairly decent. I know the wasps aren't the most uh, difficult air unit to, to deal with, but there is a lot of them. And you know what? Just upgrading or just promoting to a level 2 makes all the difference. And that tarantula is going to come out on top. Let's add another air unit into this. And let's add... Um, Uh, let's have a look. Let's add a phoenix to it. Let's put the phoenix at the back. And let's see how it gets on against a phoenix as well. Again, there's only one 
uh, modification, which was the anti-air, of course, because we were battling the anti-air units. And then we've had one upgrade. And it did take care of the wasps, but I know the Phoenix is a much stronger air unit, and it's got a much better range as well. And that does make a difference there, look. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add another... Uh, Phoenix. Let's add another two. But we will add another tarantula as well. Give the man some support. Um, okay, let's leave it as that. And see how we get on. So, we've got a level two tarantula, a level one tarantula, a whole load of wasps, and three key to it three lots of phoenix let's see how we get on of course the tarantula takes care the second tarantula takes care of the yeah wow so it takes care of the wasps okay but the phoenix is uh, is causing it a bit of a problem let's add some range with the range enhancement Let's see how we get on. I know this is video is going on just a little bit longer than I would have wanted to. Um, but I guess if you're a fan of Machabellum and you want to have a look at these testing grounds and see how these units get on, it is it is an interesting video. That range, of course, I'm hoping is going to counteract the Phoenix range. And it certainly is, look. If I were you, and or if I myself, I'm going to go into a game in a moment... I would be adding the range before adding anything else on the tarantula. Don't forget, when the tarantula uh, uses those uh, spiders, it does stop firing. And for me, that's a big problem. A big, big, big problem. Okay, I think we'll leave it there. We get the, uh, the kind of general gist of what these tarantulas do. Uh, I'm going to pause this or stop the video. Um, and I'm going to head into a game. This is Gaming with Rob. I hope you found that very, very useful. Um, make sure you smash that subscribe button. I'll go ahead and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.